Uh, first up is In the Dark, written by Daniel Hirsch and performed by Aubin Hagley. Tonight reminds me of one night last summer. Day where everybody at work is in a vaguely pissy mood for reasons no one can explain other than their pits were like Swedish saunas. And Matt and I, you remember Matt, right? We'd been texting all day because we couldn't wait to sit in front of this new air conditioner we bought. The Cold Front 8000. With a K? Cold Front. So we were stupid excited. When we got home from work, we wanted to do nothing but strip off all our clothes, suck on ice cubes, and just bathe in the cool blast of its Freon-infused air or whatever. So we're standing there in our underwear when Matt flips the switch and boots it up to full blast. <gasps> and it's just total... And we enjoy the most exquisite chill for one, two, three, boom. The entire apartment plunges into darkness. The cold front 8,000 rattles to silence. The whole neighborhood is dark, just the last wisps of some scorching summer day. With my remaining cell phone battery, I check the electric company's website. No estimate on when the power will be back up. So just like tonight, we hunkered down and lit a bunch of candles. And not to be... Sometimes people act like a blackout can be fun or romantic or something, but in our dark apartment, you could just feel the disappointment, the sense of unease. We had nothing else to do but go to bed, but I can't sleep because Matt's body is radiating heat, and I just... I just want to know why the power is out and when it will be back up. And lying in the dark, I realize I don't even know where my power comes from. Is it uh, coal, natural gas? Is there some hydroelectric dam I don't know about? I mean, I have no clue, do you? It, it kind of freaks me out, like how little I know. Every time I turn the lights on, I'm trusting some gigantic anonymous distribution network to make that happen. To move through the world is to operate on total blind faith that an army of strangers are doing their jobs right, that the energy to power all this, every cold front 8,000 in America, hasn't just fizzled out. And I just kept thinking, what if the lights don't come back on? I mean, what would I even do? I mean, how long do y'all think it's been now? 